What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and today's video. Appreciate you stopping by. So today I'm just gonna kinda give an update. Uh, it's been a few days since I've done a daily vlog. You know, I had some other gear review videos come out and then my no business video came out. Monday morning, which I hope you guys liked it. Uh, thank you for all the comments on it. It's been uh, really positive and I just really appreciate you guys checking it out. But several people have asked, uh, one, how is my ankle doing? Uh, it's doing pretty good. The swelling is not totally gone, uh, but it's down a lot, like a significant amount. Uh, you know, I do still get a little bit more swelling at night. Uh, just seems to be always worse at night. I don't know why. I guess it's been a long day and, you know, standing up on it here and there and whatnot. But, uh, it's getting better. You know, I do still have uh, a good bit of pain as well at night uh, and in the mornings. I guess just from being still, maybe, you know, when sleeping, you know, laying down in the morning, wake up, it's stiff, has to get loosened up a bit. Uh, and then at night, you know, if I'm on the couch with the foot elevated watching TV or something like that. And then when I get up to move around, it, it's, it hurts quite a bit on the left side of the ankle there again. So it's getting better slowly but surely uh, as far as the swelling goes, but still a very tight feeling uh, overall and throughout the whole ankle, uh, mainly on the left side and the rear, kind of where the Achilles is and those two uh, perineus tendons are on the left side. That's where it's really the most tight and the most pain. So like the day at work, I'm sitting there kind of trying to flex my ankle a little bit, just kind of trying to start, not really rehab yet, but just trying to maintain some motion in the ankle. Uh, just move it around every once in a while. It's tight, I don't want it to heal back super stiff and tight. I need to have some flexibility in that leg. So I'm trying to keep remembering to, to move it every now and then. I've also had several people ask, maybe not exactly this question, but this is kind of the, I think the heart of what they're getting to is like, why did I choose to go on in the race? Uh, you know, I injured it at mile 18 and a half of the 100 mile race. So obviously I could have dropped out right then uh, or got to the next aid station, dropped and, uh, and called it a day. But several factors, I guess, kind of played into that. I guess the main thing was when I rolled it, it was at that time, the loud pop, the crunch kind of sound I heard and that initial roll, the damage was done. Uh, if I tore something, uh, it was then when I did it. The two subsequent rolls that I had later in the race were not really rolls, they were more just tweaks. And having already rolled that ankle, I could really feel it. Uh, so they hurt, but it wasn't the same as that first roll. So the first roll definitely was where, pretty certain there is a torn uh, tendon, then that's when it happened. So carrying on did not tear the tendons. Uh, did it exacerbate the injury? Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure it increased the swelling, the redness in the leg. That all uh, was definitely made a little bit worse by my choosing to go on. But I knew that I could go on and get it done. Um, it's just, you know, I, I knew, I knew there was going to be some downtime after the race. I'm going to have to, I'm going to be injured. I'm going to, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. It, it happened. So I could either drop out then be incredibly disappointed with myself, frustrated, angry, uh, in the fact that I quit and let the race or let the injury take me out, or I could choose to persevere and go on and that's what I did and ultimately I'm glad yes I'm injured yes I'm gonna be out for a little while from what I love to do and that's trail running but I'm so glad I did it I'm so glad I chose to continue to go on I'm so glad I, I finished the race and got that buckle right there I earned that sucker right there I might need to get that one tattooed on my other calf <laughs> if you don't know I've got a tattoo of this buckle on my left calf. I might need to get that one tattooed on the other one, but I doubt that. But yeah, I'm very glad I went on and chose to do it. It's just, it's not really uh, something you can explain to somebody that's not a, it's not even necessarily an ultra runner, but somebody that's not a, so incredibly passionate about something, whether it's, I don't know, whether you're racing cars, you know, maybe you're a, a, a dirt track racer or a, a road racer and you get in a bad accident, and you know you get some trauma from that you, you get injured you know most of the people that i know that i used to race cars most of the people that i know the race cars once they heal up they're going to get right back in that race car uh, so it's it's kind of how you choose to accept what happens to you how it affects you and how you would let it affect you going forward i'm trying i'm trying to be positive yes it's an injury but it's a it's an inherent risk of trail running and i knew that going into it so i'm not i'm not mad i'm not angry i'm just trying to be Trying to be positive, and that's it. So, you know, thank you for the questions you guys have asked. Uh, you know, I've been supportive. Give me lots of well wishes about the ankle, uh, just running in general. So thank you to everybody out there. I appreciate it. 
the channel's been growing so much in the last couple of days specifically, uh, you know, after that Adventure Jogger podcast and then with my No Business 100 video coming out uh, today. I mean, we've gone from cracking 550 subscribers to now we're over like 500, almost at 590 subscribers in like two days, two or three days. So it's been a lot of growth. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you to all the new folks out there for joining. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and for those of you that have been subscribed for a long time, I appreciate that too. You guys just continue to comment and be engaged and that's just, it's so awesome. So this little running community that we're uh, building and growing here is just fantastic. So thank you guys. While I was sitting in my office today, I uh, heard the uh, P90X3 going out in the living room and as I walked out there, my wife was doing some uh, yoga, some exercise, so. My wife making me jealous of not being able to do anything. <laughs> doing some yoga. Wish I could join her, hopefully soon. I'll be able to uh, do some stuff at least. <laughs> Hopefully soon I'll be able to get out there with her and, and start doing some uh, some movements, some uh, at least some upper body. You know, I'll be able to start doing some push-ups and things like that. I mean, probably on my knees because I, I don't I don't think I'll be able to use my foot yet in that uh, plank position on the left side. So I'll probably just have to do my knees, but then I can do some other core work as well, and just kind of maintain some sort of some sort of uh, exercise and fitness to get those endorphins going. So anyway, thank you so much for checking this out. I do appreciate it. If you would, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click the little bell to uh, get notifications when I release future videos. Uh, if you want to check out my No Business Race video, go ahead and click uh, right over here. You'll see that and check it out. And then you can check out some other uh, trail running videos as well right over here. So I appreciate it and I'll see you guys tomorrow.